Nate, we've heard from Facebook that this actually, this transition is likely to mean people spend less time on the site. Are they taking the long view here? Yeah, absolutely, they're taking the long view. I mean, I think Mark Zuckerberg has been very clear that this is a, you know, a risk to perhaps short-term uh, sort of user engagement, if you like. Um, but the idea is that it will give people a better experience on Facebook. So rather than people just sort of coming on, spending a lot of time on there just watching videos that media companies have published to their news feeds, um, they're going to come and they're going to actually interact more with friends, they're going to see a lot more from their families, and potentially long term, at least the hope is, that's better for Facebook. That makes it a more attractive place for people to go. Um, and I think, you know, a, a huge part of this is the fact that we've seen such a huge influx in, in toxic content, fake news, things like that, that people are getting kind of, you know, they're a bit sick of it. And, and this, is a, this is a step to address it. Mm. Are the ad companies going to buy this, though? Um, well, we, we sort of think that the ad, you know, the ad content is completely separate to this. So this is affecting content that is organically and, and you know, without financial backing appearing in people's news feeds. So stuff that, that companies post. It's not necessarily going to affect the fact that p companies can still pay to have their content appear in news feeds. And, and my, sort of my personal view on this is that, if anything, it could be better for those companies anyway, because if you're seeing fewer organic appearances of media content in your news feed, then the paid media content that you do see has a more likely chance of standing out and being seen.